In this tutorial, we play around with soft bodies to create this interesting soft body effect. And we show you how to maintain the shape of an object while it's still being a soft body, as you see in this example. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, step number one, select your default cube, press S to scale, and then press Shift Z to scale on the, uh, on the X and Y axis, not the Z axis, and press five. Once you've got that, the next thing we need to do is add as many verts as possible. So we're going to go to the Modify Properties, Add Modify, and we're going to add a Subdivision Surface Modifier. We're going to set this to 4 on both Render and Viewport. And then we're going to drop, click on this drop-down arrow and Apply. Once you've done that, you can Shade Smooth. And we're going to go to Wireframe Mode. And the first thing we want to do, in fact, let's turn off X-Ray Mode for a second so we can see a bit better. We want to press Tab to go into Edit Mode and press 2 to choose Edge Select and let's find the outermost edge that seems to be this press Alt and select only this outermost edge we're going to go to our vertex uh, object data properties our vertex groups we're going to add two groups uh, the first group we're going to call Goal the other group it doesn't matter what we call it and the other group is going to be this and we're just going to press Sign then we're going to select, we're going to turn on X-ray mode back, we're going to select everything, and we're going to say deselect what we've just assigned, go to our goal, and we're going to assign that. And this is crucial for the effect we're going for. Once you've done that, you can go to solid view mode, or let's go to material viewport, press tab to go to object mode, and let's add a quick material that I think looks pretty cool. We're going to change this to glossy. And we're going to choose an interesting blue. Something like that should look badass. Next thing we want to do is go to the physics properties. We're going to add soft body physics. And we're going to mess with some of these stats here. Some of the, this, this doesn't really matter. This will just change your simulation slightly for slightly different effects. So have fun with this. The speed you probably do want to decrease to 0 0.5 to slow it down so you can see it better. And... Um, catch we can leave as is goal we need to select our goal over here which is that vertex group we created that doesn't include the outer rim and that's quite important uh, make sure self collision is turned on and our field weight make sure the gravity is turned off the next thing we want to do so we can see this simulation in action we're going to press shift a mesh and we're going to use a let's use a icosphere G, Z, let's lift this puppy up. We're going to add a collision effect, and it's already set. We don't actually have to change anything already, which is pretty cool. The one thing we will change for our final result, we will make sure that we can see disable on render. We can choose to disable this icosphere in the render itself. And uh, with everything selected, uh, we can now press I on the icosphere and, and keyframe the location rotation scale at keyframe 1 and then at I guess frame 1 well let's do this quick frame 50 which is like within 2 seconds we can press GZ bring this puppy down to about yeah and press I location rotation and scale and just like that if we hide the icosphere now so we can see it in action and we go to frame 1 and we press space bar to play at frame 22 it connects obviously because there's so many verts and I've got a really slow computer it's going to take a little while to respond but as soon as it makes it through the, the object the effect would have been created and while we wait for this to happen um, Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It would be appreciated greatly. That's it. I think we're pretty much done here. And obviously, just to be clear, you could move the object from side to side. So for example, if we make this visible, and 
let's say we make the starting position G over here, and then we press I, location, rotation, and scale, and we press play, it will impact that spot by missing it, so that's no good. Let's go back to let's go back to frame one by pressing that and pressing G, lifting it up to maybe maybe there, and then pressing I, location, rotation, scale, and play, and we'll hit the side now. And one thing you'll notice, which is quite powerful, it's not crumbling into a small little ball of nothing, and that's because we made sure that the outer perimeter is almost locked down in a fixed location. So this is a great way to you know make a trampoline. Or just a really cool effect like this this tutorial so you can see it it's, looks damaged here but by the time the simulation is done it will look pretty cool it's creating ripples and waves all right just for interest sake what I'll do is I'll create it I'll create two of you so I'm gonna create this I'm gonna press shift D to duplicate Z, X, sorry, press I, now when I play, we should have two going into this, and this should create a really interesting effect, but you kind of get the idea, you know how to do this yourself at this point, this is how you create an interesting wavy effect using soft body physics.